Alright, so if I was going to do the tangent of 7 pi over 12, I would just change that to degrees first. Okay. So you probably can't see that. 7 pi over 12 times 180 over pi. Pi's cancel. 12 goes into there 15 times. 7 times 15 is 105. Okay. So really, so really I'm doing the tangent of 105 degrees. Okay. Uh, anytime you do tangents, I would try to avoid using 30s. So I would not do 135 minus 30. I would try to avoid using 30s. So try to stick to 45s and 60s. So in this case, that works out nice. Tangent of 60 plus 45. Now I'm going to use my sum formula for tangent. So that will be the tangent of 60 plus the tangent of 45 all over 1 minus the tangent of 60 times the tangent of 45. Tangent of 60 is root 3. Tangent of 45 is 1. Tangent of 60 is root 3. Tangent of 45 is 1. So I'm sitting at root 3 plus 1 all over 1 minus root 3, just like that. Okay? You can't leave radicals in your denominator. So that's where you would multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So 1 plus root 3 So I'm going to multiply by 1 plus root 3, 1 plus root 3. I'm going to FOIL. So root 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus root 3 over 1 plus root 3 minus root 3 minus 3. On the top I have two like terms, 1 root 3 plus 1 root 3 would make 2 root 3's, positive 3 plus 1 would make positive 4. Yeah. On the bottom, these two cancel out, so I have 1 minus 3, which would be negative 2. And then you can simplify. The, best way, the easiest way to simplify is to probably think of them as two separate fractions. This over negative 2 would make a negative root 3 because the 2's would cancel out. And you just have root 3 over negative 1, which is negative root 3. And then 4 over negative 2 would be a minus 2. So final answer, negative root 3 minus 2. That would be how I would do the tangent of 7 pi over 12. Change it to degrees, avoid using 30s, and then multiply by the conjugate to get the radical out of the denominator. That is very easy.